वेलकम बैक टू द कोर्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी अंडरस्टूड अबाउट इंटेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टेक अ लुक इन टू एंटिटीज सो इफ आई क्लिक हियर एंटिटीज यू विल सी देर आर टू टैब्स कस्टम एंड सिस्टम वेन आई क्लिक ऑन सिस्टम यू विल सी इट सेज रीड अबाउट सिस्टम एंटिटीज हियर आई क्लिक हियर you will see that there are system entities and if i scroll down uh hopefully system entity references when i click here yeah it will provide all the system entities that dialog flow can handle but what is entity let's look at what is entity so let's say user write something like what is the time today now dialog flow has natural language understanding or natural language processing capability and it has entity extraction mechanism so if someone asks you like what is the time today you will understand that you will understand that the question mentioned today and from your own knowledge you will understand that today is a particular date so dialog flow entity extraction mechanism will extract a date from this query now this extracted date is our entity so there are numerous example when we want to extract some particular part from user's query like i want to book a table for five people so five people is the is the is the thing that we want to extract from the user query in order to use it further so this is entity a a particular kind of uh, keyword or phrase or thing that we want to extract from the user's query now let's look into dialog flow and i'll go to intents before we move forward and understand how to create entities i would like to show you that there are basically three kinds of entities system entity which is provided by dialog flow custom entity which we write and combined entity which can be combination of two or more custom entities or two or more system entities or combination of custom and system entities so let's learn how this works in order to understand these three things let me demonstrate you a scenario let's say we are building a chatbot in which user is playing a game and user can take particular number of steps in particular direction either backward or forward five steps or three steps that will be numbers so user can take five steps forward five steps backward and from this user's query we want to extract steps and direction so let's build this kind of something in dialog flow so i'll come here again in order to understand a user's query we need intent so i'll create an intent let's say uh user provides steps and in the training phrases i'll say take five steps now when i hit enter here you will see that five is identified by dialog flow as system number in case if it doesn't identify that you can you know annotate any word or words and search for the particular entity you want to attach it with and i'll say system number let's say five steps let's say five steps let's say take five steps there is no 
particular uh, number of you know training phrases that are enough but i suggest 6 to 7 training phrases are enough for a particular intent and make sure that all the training phrases are referring to same kind of uh, intent of the user if you know it collides with uh, other intents uh, it will you know not work really well now there is one more thing i want to show you here under action and parameters though we are going to look at them separately as well but when we are trying to extract some parameter we can see it under action and parameter so i will save it now and if i write take five steps in the simulator we see oh it is saying say one more time i am sure you know the reason behind this unintended behavior of dialog flow we need to go to this gear icon i'll go to ml setting and i'll hit on train so the training will start i'll wait for the training to finish yeah now i can say take five steps if you face this kind of error again and again i suggest that you refresh your dialog flow tab many times it happens that dialog flow doesn't uh, show the immediate changes now i can say take five steps yeah you see now it is showing that yeah the intent is correct user provides steps but there is no response so i can click here and go to the particular intent and if i go to response indeed there is no response so i'll say you have entered when i say dollar it will show me the list of entities that we are extracting in that particular intent i'll select number steps and i'll save this and when i say take five steps yeah it says you have entered five steps so you can see that we have extracted the entity very easily and if you look here into action and parameter you will see that a parameter is extracted whose name is number and value is 5 and if i go to this diagnostic info which shows uh, everything about the request or the user query you can see here a parameter is object under which we have number property and the value is 5 so now we are on a way to extract our direction in the next video we will look how to extract direction from users query